Hello and welcome. This is the Masters of the Journey video blog. My name is Dr. John Mason and I will be presenting the blog today. As you can see, we're recording this on a beautiful fall day and we're coming to you from the Pacific Northwest. Today is just a brief conversation on the topic of connection. You know, each one of us is living in, in our society, in our culture, and we believe that we are strong, independent, and separate. But each one of us needs to have relationship. Each one of us needs to find a way to connect. We do that in one-to-one -one relationships, whether they be romantic relationships or work relationships or family relationships. But I think that there are times when we really need to reach out and build a community, a community that is not just related to who's in your family and what your bloodline is, but people who have common interests who can really help and support you, even mentor or teach you the things that you need to learn from the challenges that life as they persist. So we have in our culture tribes, if you will, communities of connection. And some of them are relatively superficial, where there are people that gather, say, they're following a certain football team, and they get together and they either meet in a, uh, an arena or maybe in a bar or a restaurant or in somebody's living room, and they find that they really like to connect with people who they have something in common with. But the people I'm talking about, the one that I think that you need to consider are the ones that feed your soul and spirit. It's more than just that emotional thing of connecting with a group. It's people that can challenge you to look at certain things in your life or present new experiences or share their wisdom and experiences, even epiphanies with you, so that you can have the doors open on your own level of awareness and consciousness. Now, some people might find that in a church situation or in a certain club, a social club or an interest group. We've started a group in Bellingham, and it's now spreading throughout the country and hopefully around the world called Masters of the Journey. And our group is to help people connect if they want to support each other in growing spiritually in a non-religious way, if they don't necessarily need to have one person in the front of the room who is telling you a philosophy or a way of living, and it allows you to share your story, it allows you to connect with people who are willing to witness the things that you have done, the challenges that you've faced and either succeeded or failed at, but you've learned from in the years that you've been away around. So the Masters of the Journey is a community that will not only allow you to tell your story, it allows you to connect with very supportive people who will help draw the story out of you or who share more information that, again, opens doors and creates experiences so that you can explore the next step, if you will, on your journey or your passage through this life. To evolve, sometimes we need to have the mentors or the perspective. We need to have accountability partners. And I think that if you consider a community and you really want to serve your, not just mind and emotion, not just your body, but you want to honor and serve your spirit, you may consider a, a community like Masters of the Journey, not one that's rigid or demanding, but one that is flexible and helps you to know yourself, and to find the best ways of being service to all others. Thank you for your attention. If you wish to get more information about Masters of the Journey, our website is www.mastersofthejourney.com. We have events and trainings and conference calls listed on our Facebook page, which is at facebook.com backslash Masters of the Journey. Again, thank you for your time and attention.